think you should be Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I don't know who that intro was, it's just Finn Balor. <coughs> I've got the Bulletproof Balor Club t-shirt on. I'm a massive fan of him, obviously he's my favourite. You can see his figures right at the back for some reason. But I've got a side for everything. I'm just trying to get. He's my favourite superstar. And here's the confirmed card. Well, most of it. Um, we don't have the Intercontinental Top Match, which I'm going to start off with. Because that's not confirmed, but it's probably going to, again, be Dean Ambrose against the Miz. But I don't... Finn Balor doesn't have a match at the pay-per-view. You probably have... Um, start his match against, uh, his feud against Bray Wyatt after payback going around you and beats Bray Wyatt, but he's probably not set for payback to be honest, but there, anyway, let's start with Dean Ambrose against The Miz, I think, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of hard that one, I think Dean Ambrose will retain, uh, first match got Neville against Austin Aries, uh, we all thought Austin Aries was going to win at WrestleMania, obviously not Neville retained, which I didn't mind, but everyone just thought Austin Aries was going to win, so everyone's WrestleMania predictions videos, Including mine had Austin Aries, but uh, I think that Austin Aries' his time will come this um, Next Sunday, sorry. I've, no, I'm doing it a week out um, Just when we have the confirm card, so might as well do it now uh, Next match we've got the Hardy Boys against Cesaro and Sheamus. Obviously the Hardys returned to Wrestlemania. That was amazing. You would have seen in my live stream I marked out so much, but I think the Hardys will retain I honestly thought that Sheamus and Cesaro their time would be a payback um, if they got a title shot, but not against Hardy since they returned. So I think the Hardys will retain. The next match we've got Kevin Owens against Chris Jericho for the United States title. The winner goes to SmackDown, obviously. Sorry, guys. The loser comes to Raw. Um, or if Chris Jericho loses, he stays on Raw. But he's going on tour with Fozzie after payback. So literally, the payback is probably his last match for a while in WWE. So because of that reason, I think Kevin Owens will retain. Next, we've got the. I'm just going to say. In the order of this list, um, the House of Horrors match, which I don't know, it could probably be a steel cage. It's probably going to be like the Asylum match, like you know, the Dean Ambrose Asylum match against Chris Jericho. At, I'm pretty sure that was no, that was Extreme Rules last year, but um, it's probably going to be something like that. I can't see them bringing the Inferno match back, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a steel cage match with weapons in. And I'm pretty sure Randy's going to retain. He's going to obviously go to Backlash to face Jinder Mahal. <laughs> that was really messed up. Um, he obviously is the number one contender from that six pack challenge. But Randy Orton's probably going to retain. I don't know how the match is going to go on, but it's going to be great. Uh, sorry, I keep looking down, just looking at the card. Seth Rollins against Samoa Joe. And I don't know, this match was scheduled for Fastlane, uh, but it didn't happen because of Seth's injury and he had to kind of rehab for WrestleMania. I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest. Samoa Joe, I think he's unbeatable, um, undefeatable in WWE um, so far on the main roster, obviously. So I don't know what they're going to um, do if they're going to make Seth Rollins get back in the title picture. Uh, if they're gonna, you know, make some uh, Joe win, uh, maybe get to Brock Lesnar one day. Some Joe against Brock Lesnar is a dream match. But I think they're gonna have a look at Braun Strowman against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the Universal title. But for this match, Seth Rollins against Samoa Joe, it's honestly really unpredictable. But these prediction videos, is what unpredictable is about. So I'm gonna predict Samoa Joe for this match. Even though I'd love to see Seth win, and we've got two more matches. We've got Bailey against Alexa Bliss. So Alexa Bliss stole the victory on Raw. Uh, Sasha Banks got hit by the Samoa drop by Nia Jax. Nia Jax will drop kicked out of the ring. Alexa Bliss nicked the cover. But I honestly think Bailey will retain. It's in San Jose, California. That's Haley, Bailey's hometown. And Alexa just came from SmackDown where she's been a two time champion. So I honestly think Bailey will retain. And the last match is not going to be the main event, but we're going to talk about our last. Roman Reigns against Warren Sermon. And I think that's the most talking point in this whole pay per view. So that's why I'm going to talk about it. The last. It's because. I think Vince is going to make Braun Strowman win. As much as he loves Roman Reigns, he loves Big Sweaty Man, he loves all them. He loves both of these guys so much and he doesn't want to look, make any of them look weak in matches. Obviously, you saw Braun do the ambulance, flip it over. And if you look carefully, at the bottom left of that video, Roman Reigns got out. But anyway, it's still the power and strength of Strowman. But I think Strowman's obviously going to win. Even though Roman's bouncing off a main event victory at WrestleMania over The Undertaker. I honestly think they're going to make Braun Strowman win, getting strong, uh, heading strong into SummerSlam, which is a few months away, uh, where he'll probably face Brock Lesnar for the Universal title, which Brock will probably win. But guys, that was my payback predictions. Really hope you enjoyed the intro, that was pretty funny. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a link in the comments um, if you've done your own videos for payback predictions, 
or just leave me your predictions in the comments if you don't have a video or um, like the video as well and um, that's greatly appreciated subscribe if you're new and see you again next time I only call you when it's